Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome to another episode of Battletech Career Mode. So here we go. So we're going to be waiting basically till now. Till our Jenner is good to go. Grab another contract here and hope, fingers crossed, that we uh, don't get beaten up as badly as we did before. Uh, let's see. That's an escort mission. Escort mission. I'm not a big fan of escort missions to be 100% honest with you. You're a battle. And so are you. You pay a little bit less and you give the same amount of salvage. So we'll go with you, I guess. You're in desert. You're in badlands. I mean, we can do both of them, which is a good thing. Uh, we're going to take a little bit more money than we normally would. Just because we want to be able to have enough money, obviously. You know. Do some stuff. And I wouldn't mind being able to pick at least one piece of uh, salvage for myself. Uh, in between the last episode and this one, I leveled up, I believe it was Emerald and Red Comet. Uh, no, it was Red Comet. Actually, and that was it that I upgraded. So we got a Spider or Jenner, a Centurion, and a Blackjack. Someone in the last episode asked if a mech can be melee specific. Um, yes and no. Um, every mech has the ability to be melee. Um, but if you want melee specific, there is a specific mech, actually. That has been specialized for, um, or built specifically for, uh, melee. And that is the Axeman. It's basically a medium 55 ton mech with, <coughs> excuse me, with a big axe in its hand. <laughs> it's a dangerous and spicy little meatball. All right, so a Lance of Capellan... Uh, Battlemex has been rampaging and can open territory on New Abilene. You've been ra they've been raising populated centers, burning fields and refineries, looting storage facilities. They've clear they're clearly doing everything they can to drive our people out. This is terrorism, pure and simple. We need to find them and destroy them. No escape, no prisoners. Basically, shoot to kill, as he says down there. There we go. This is basically just going to be a head-to-head -head straight up fight so the first thing i want to do is get the blackjack up uh to be honest badlands so heat is going to be a bit of an issue for probably comet here so, yeah, so the first guy i'm going to move up is our spider as I say, I want its its radar, if anything, to hit to be able to ting, ding somebody. We get our Jenner, keep them under cover. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the blackjack in a spot where he can do Overwatch a little bit, and I'll keep the Centurion for now. With Centurion long term, I want to switch it to two LRM tens and two medium lasers. Just so things will be a lot easier. So that's a light for sure. Now I could use you. If I went to there. Now you're not going to tell me what my hit to hit rates are here. Because you don't know. <coughs> what. That is. Okay. So we're going to just move. The javelin, nice. That's actually a really good medium, uh, or, or, well, a, a sm uh, light mech. <clears throat> uh, so we're going to take some shots at you. Remove some pips of evasion. See if there's anyone else in the area. Okay. Now, I could take Comet in this way to help with the spider. And then maybe take on the javelin from behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sprint up the Jenner. That's definitely another light there. So we got two javelins. So we're going to prioritize the javelin on the right here. Get 40 points of damage. So they're both... Ooh, this is the SR. Okay, this one actually might be a bit of a... A scare, a scary build here. Um, 
So it's SRM sixes in the torsos. Okay. Sometimes too, as a little tip, once the mechs have been deployed, you can actually usually zoom in and see what they're carrying. So you can see here, here are the the SRM sixes. And if we go over to this guy, you notice instead of the SRM sixes, he has the four lasers. Just a little timbit. Um, I'm gonna move you up. You're gonna have with the, the auto cannon and the LRM. Doing a lot of damage there on the left. You're probably, yeah, I was gonna say, he's probably gonna run in on me. So, what I'm gonna try to do is get these two around and attack him from this side. So, I'm gonna get Comet in first because Comet is the harder hitter. I'm actually going to go with a precision strike. I'm going to try and go for the shoulder. There we go. Look at that. If we can get this guy with... Um, usually uh, pilots at this level have three injuries that they can take. Or then they get knocked out. So the hope is that I can do three injuries maybe to one of these pilots. And get, maybe if I'm lucky, get the mech. We're going to prioritize... Oh, took out his leg. He's going to fall and take another injury. <clears throat> so that's two injuries for this guy. <clears throat> so the pilot is now taking two injuries. That's, that's the initiative thing. That's not the injuries. And if I could, I would like to hit that left torso. And give him another injury. But what I'm going to do... First, because you're getting too close. Yeah. Whoa. Gotta love the AC-10. And then uh, me here. I'm actually going to jump up, turn. Well, actually, no, I don't want to jump up there. I want to stay to the left. There we go. Aim for you. Now, what I want to do is take out this torso, and this will give the guy three injuries, theoretically, and should actually kill him. Um, it's 31 points of damage. If I do more than 31, it'll transfer into the center torso. So two medium lasers is 50. I'm going to say I'm going to fire three medium lasers at 75 points of damage. So as long as two of my lasers hit that left torso, that's three injuries. No, nope, all three rounds hit the center torso. He's going to... Oh! He's going to kick me. Okay. So at least we know it's only these two light mechs, which isn't that crazy. We're going to run our Jenner in here even faster. And theoretically, we'll turn the SRM4 off. That should make the heat okay. We're going to be hitting him on this side. So my hope is that we can get this torso here. Or even a leg, maybe. Because we are shooting from a little higher up. So we're probably going to hit torso and arm more. Oh, no, we hit, yeah, we hit torso. Ooh, five points of damage and 30 to the leg. Nice. Now, if I could get you in here to just add to that pain and suffering, that would be nifty. So once again, you can see here, the little red indicator, we're only going to hit the left side. So we can do f theoretically 50 points of damage. If we hit the leg twice, that he's going to fall over and get an injury. Or... We're going to take out a torso. So either way, he's losing something probably on this side. Or we're just going to miss altogether with a 60% chance to hit, I think it was. Now here is where it gets interesting. Now what I can do is swing you around this way. And try... So theoretically, I should be... I, if I do 50 points of damage... That would transfer in. 
Another 60. It's 5, 6, 7. So it's 75 points of damage. Theoretically, if I hit anything other than this left torso, we should be okay. So we hit the right leg. Oh. Then we also hit the right arm and the right torso. Or the right torso, which means all the all the damage went from the torso into the center torso. So we probably only would have gotten one one little piece from that. In the future, we'll have specific mechs designed to take out and do lots and lots of damage. Um, I want... Yeah, I actually want you... I'm more of a laser kind of guy, but I'll take the, the missile variant too. I don't mind that whatsoever. And we'll do another mission. Actually, let's see if anyone leveled up there. I wish there was an indicator telling you if someone leveled up. Well, we'll take plus one health for ourselves. Later on, once I've gotten around, like, here, like, halfway through the second marker of, uh, of our runway here, of, uh, of income, I'll be going to, here we go, ship upgrades. And getting things like, uh, power systems up, actually, I can probably do that now. It's going to cost me an extra 350 bucks. It's going to cost me $90,000. But it helps me unlock other stuff. So we'll do that. Because um, I do want... I, I want to get training modules done, but I need the, repi the repi rep oh, repair power conduits, which is this thing here. So once this is done being repaired, I can then switch to that. And this gives just a standing overall experience. So pretty much every single day, our, our, our pilots will gain 20 xp as if they were basically doing off you know they're basically training every day even days we weren't actually doing missions yeah you i don't think so but you are given a fair a nice little chunk of change here we'll do this again 211 bucks um i'm gonna have to swap out stonefish soon just so I can get him leveled up, because I always like to have at least two spare pilots. And I like to, once I, that's, mind you, that's once the, um, the, uh, the simulator pods are done. Once the simulator pods, once I'm about to unlock them, I'm going to hire another mech, or merc. And that merc will be basically my last ditch mech, or, or sorry, uh, mech pilot slash, um, merc just in case I end up having two injuries. Because I can't see myself having more than two injuries. Um, it happens. I mean, I've been there. So, next mission. Destroy all brigand units. Basically, we're going after pirates. Canopan citizens have been suffering at the hands of local band brigands. Uh, remnants of a Capellan battalion that saw action in the Third Succession War. With no prospect or funds, they become common criminals. You were to eliminate them down to the last man and vehicle. Basically, we're going out there, veterans. <laughs> Actually, this would be... A, I should be able to do a really good... Um, no, no one's up there, huh? Let's bring you that way. Uh, I'm going to bring you further east. There we go. So we have two mechs. I'm going to keep going east with my lights for now. But you should be able to do Overwatch. I kind of wish Overwatch was an option. So right now it's two light mechs. We have the initiative first. So I'm actually going to reserve both of them for now. Because I want the other guys to move first. There we go. So they have a... Is that a commando? That's a commando. Okay, so he just totally lefted my uh, my spider. So our spider, if you look at it now, yeah, we lost. We're 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 gonna lose that left arm no matter what. Um, I 
I would like to withdraw already from battle and use this mech as more of a sniper mech. So here, for example, we're just going to use it to remove the two pips of evasion. So basically, it's just going to shoot to help remove the evasion. I'm going to get my Jenner in between. So like right there, for example. And the Jenner will help remove the pips of evasion as well. So now it should go down to... Oh, look at that! We took out the right torso. So now, me and my Blackjack are going to come over here and say hi de ho So they've got a Javelin, which is a medium laser Javelin, and obviously they have the Commando here, which lost its large laser. So as of this moment, this guy right here is a lot safer. But I am going to hope to do some massive damage to this guy here. It looks like I did. We took out the right leg, the left torso, and the left arm. Also did an injury. Did a knockdown, which means we did a double injury. Oh, the pilot has been incapacitated. There we go. So we did three... Um, wait, did we take out both tor bo 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 torsos on this guy? I think we took out both torsos. And knocked him down. Which is three injuries right there. The emerald... Can only hit you with an LRM, which is going to be kind of anticlimactic because you get a reduction in how much damage is done. It's a twenty percent reduction. Oh, oh, that's not good. So that, huh? Well, I'm going to get you jumped up. No, you know what? I'm going to reserve. Because I think that might be a panther. There we go. So the the javelin. Oh, sorry. Shots hit our other two mechs there. That's actually a good, good idea. So we got one mech flanking us to the right. And another one coming downtown here. So... First things first, you're gonna go like this. Um, I'm gonna say precision strike just to the center torso because I want to get this mech out of here. If I can strip, which I did, a lot of the armor. I can then theoretically use you. Ah, it's because you jumped. Okay. Sixties and seventies? Yeah, let's just open everything up. Left torso and left arm is gone. Damage from the left torso transfers into the center torso. And, oh, wait, is it pilot incapacitated? I thought it said CT destroyed. Um, I am just going to move him up to there for now because I don't know if this person is going to come down this way or continue flanking what was that that was a panther that's exactly what I thought that was but what are you panther shouldn't be too I want to I'm a little nervous so we're gonna actually going to jump you over there for now to try to get this guy to come down this way another javelin it's an SRM javelin okay <sighs> so first things first who do I want to take out first if you're just SRMs you're not that dangerous I'm really scared of those PPCs so what I'm gonna do Oops, I hit the wrong buttons. And I'm going to try and move in. Going to keep cover from you. Really? Okay, I'm just going to fire one. Remove a pip of evasion. 
Both of you moved. We're going to obviously bleed some of our heat. Our Centurion is going to move up to here. With the theory that it will be protected from you. So shouldn't get any PPC hits. Oh. If that AC-10 hit, that would have been ridiculous. And then I am going to stay in Overwatch. So 55 and 60. So I'm going to take the shots of the Javelin only because there's a higher chance of hitting at this point. Ooh. Oh, you're going to... Oh, you went for him. Actually, that's not so bad. So one of the things about the PPC is it's hot. So... Take your shots and remove those pe those pips of evasion, please. Oh, I think I... Oh, no, I didn't. Right side's damaged, not the left. And he hit, mostly hit the left there from the looks of it. Yeah. You're doing pretty good, actually. I'm actually surprised. Um... Then I move and fire at everything. Just try for a headshot, why not? You're gonna move there and turn around and look back this way. Um, yeah, we're going to prioritize the Panther for the moment. If this AT, A, AC-10 hits pretty much anywhere other than the center torso, something's coming off. Come on. Ah. Um, oh, I mean, caps lock, that's why. I was going to say, this panther is done. Ooh, SRM explosion. And I took a torso. That's two injuries. That's good, fine. Hit him with the SRMs. As long as you didn't go after him. You're going to prioritize the panther. Oh, right arm. Boom. PBC is now gone. It's now in the ground. Comet, who's been bleeding off stuff for a while now, should now be able to... Oh, what? Let's do that, because the SRMs might hit the other guy. Nope. Yep, so we had to destroy the CT on that, unfortunately. But, I mean, could have been worse. You could be this guy right here. I need to do 40 points of damage to the center torso. Did not do 40 points of damage to the center torso. Um, you know what? You're just going to attack. So he's going to get at least... Oh, look at that. Um, punch from the left side. Left arm destroyed. Your 
you're smart. And you're not. I was going to say you'd SRM at least the spider to remove one threat. There we go. Take it to the left torso, which just rear the center torso. That's not bad. I think we're going to do one more mission. You want? No, actually, that's good. Those two missions were good enough for today. Made a fair amount of money. Didn't really get a mech, though. I was still kind of hoping for a mech. We're going to have to repair our spider here. Um, Theoretically, I could get one point. Oh, I could have gotten the... I could take a chance and try for a commando part and hope I get the other two. And that'll give me a commando, which will replace the spider, no problem. Or I can take a javelin part with the hopes that I will get another javelin in the future. Um, I'm going to take the javelin. Oh, I got one commando part. Okay, that's not that's not a big deal. But we now have th uh, two javelin 10F parts. We need three to make a mech. One piece is the arm, one piece is the head, and one piece is the, le or the, the body, the legs, stuff like that. Some people do a full eight because there's eight parts of a mech, right? You got both your legs, your three torsos, your your two arms, and then your head. But I think that's that's just way too much. So we're going to go to the mech bar. We're going to go to spider, and we're just going to repair it because we don't actually need to refit it in any form or fashion. Uh, we want to see real quick here if anyone gets any... Oh, there we go. I'm going to give you better gunnery skill for now, and then afterwards we'll do what we're doing with Red Common here, and we'll give you extra health. Right here, right here, right here. And you are useless to me at the moment. Okay, so that's it. In the next episode, we're going to do some more contracts. A whole bunch more available. We still got four more. Probably won't do this one, but we still got three more. Until, well, until, wait, is that the Star League? Oh, just planetary. Ooh. My, 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 I don't have a specific kill mech yet, but what we're going to have to do is try to get a good mech with a lot of, a lot of SRM6s that I can get on it. And hopefully, fingers crossed, utilize an SRM6 build mech as uh, our mech to be designated our assassination mech. Because uh, we want one that's obviously going to get in there and do a lot of damage to a mech and hopefully just keep knocking them down so a lot of stability damage is what we're looking for um the new mechs down the road like the archer and stuff like that that'll be coming out or will be should be theoretically a good um staggering mech but it's also a heavy so yeah there's that anyways thanks for watching everybody i'll see you in the next episode Bye bye